Your Android phone gives you the convenience of being contacted anytime or anywhere by people who matter to you. Family, friends, loved ones, workmates. But you can also be contacted by people you don't want. Enemies, stalkers, spammers, pesky telemarketers, and other unwanted callers. When the latter happens, what to do? Why block those annoying callers, of course? Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to Android Authority. In this video, I'll teach you how to block phone calls on your Android phone. Generally, you should be able to bar calls on your Android phone, but the method for achieving it could differ from phone to phone. On the Nexus 4, for example, I couldn't find a way to block a contact or to bar calls, but there's a workaround. Redirecting calls to voicemail. To do this for any contact, just open the contact in the People app, tap Menu, and tap on All Calls to Voicemail. You'll know that the contact has been blocked, so to speak, because you'll see this check mark here. On most other handsets such as the Xperia T and HTC One, you can block calls through call barring, which you can enable by going to Settings and then Accessing Call Settings. Here, you can block certain types of calls such as outgoing calls, outgoing international calls, or all incoming calls. Call barring is a network service, and you will usually need a network-provided passcode to enable or disable it. On certain phones like the HTC One, you can also block contacts through the phone app. Open the Phone app, tap the Menu button, and select Blocked Contacts. Tap this button to add a contact to the list. You can either select a contact from your contacts or manually enter a number. A similar feature exists on the LG Optimus G. It's known as Call Reject. It's also on the Galaxy S4 and is called the Auto Reject List. On the Galaxy S4, you can add a contact to the Auto Reject List by opening a Contacts page, tapping Menu, and tapping Add to Reject List. You can also manually add to the list by opening the phone app, then going to Call Settings, Call Rejection, Auto Reject List. Here, you can specify an exact number or numbers matching a search string that you specify. For example, you can add contact numbers that start or end with the digits that you provide or includes the digits specified. On the LG Optimus G, you can add numbers to the blacklist by going to the System Settings page, then opening the Call page. From here, you can select a reject mode as well as manage the rejection list. If you own a Galaxy S4 and you want to block calls at certain hours of the day, you can use blocking mode. Available in some of Samsung's high-end phones, including the Galaxy S3, this feature lets you block incoming calls, disable notifications, and silence alarms. Just enable blocking mode and set the time you want it to kick in. You can also add contacts to a whitelist so that calls from them can get through even if you've enabled blocking mode. If your Android phone doesn't have a built-in call blocking feature, don't fret. You can still block calls through third-party Android apps. There are a lot of such apps on the Google Play Store, but here I'll feature just three. Mr. Number, Call Blocker, and Calls Blacklist. Mr. Number allows you to block calls and text on your mobile phone. This app is easy to use, doesn't have ads, and can be used for free. Here's how you can block phone calls with the Mr. Number app. Right after installing and launching the app for the first time, verify your country. Select your country and area code from the drop-down list and type in your mobile number. Tap OK to confirm. This is the app's main interface. Tap this button to begin blocking calls. On the next screen, you will see three tabs. Hang up, voicemail, and exceptions. Contacts listed under hang up won't be able to contact you. Those under the voicemail tab will be redirected to your phone's voicemail box. And Contacts saved under the Exceptions tab will not be blocked on your phone. Let's say you want to block all incoming calls, but want to allow calls from some of your important contacts. Here's how to do it in Mr. Number. Tap this button on the Hang Up tab and select All Numbers. Go to the Exceptions tab and add the contact numbers you don't want to block. And you're done! The unwanted contacts are now blocked. You can also block a number right on the app's main screen. Just tap the menu button beside each log entry under the Recent tab and select Block Number. A pop-up menu will appear asking whether to block the number or direct a call to voicemail. You may also mark the number as a spam number and add a comment about the blocked contact number. Call Blocker is another app to try. This is a free app and has ads, but the paid version removes the ads and unlocks the private space feature for storing your private SMS messages and call logs. This app is easy to use too. On the Call Blocker's main screen, tap this button to begin blocking phone calls. Afterwards, tap this button to add a contact. You will find two tabs on the next screen, one for blacklist and another one for whitelist. 
Contacts saved under the blacklist tab will be blocked, while contacts listed under whitelist will not be blocked. Tap this button to add a contact. You can select a contact from your contacts, call logs, or SMS messages, or you can also manually enter the number. Last, but certainly not the least, is the Calls Blacklist app. This is a simple app that lets you block calls from certain contacts. It's a free but ad-supported app that can be upgraded to an ad-free premium version. The app's main screen is very intuitive and easy. Under the Blacklist tab, tap this button to add a contact to block. Calls and SMS messages from a contact listed via the app will now be blocked. You can check the Log tab on the main menu to check the blocked SMS messages and calls. Mobile phones make us easily accessible to our family and friends, as well as spammers, prank callers, annoying telemarketers, and the like. But thanks to call blocking features on your phone and call blocking apps from the Google Play Store, you won't have to waste your time answering unwanted calls. In this guide, I showed you how to block phone calls on your Android phone. I hope you find this video helpful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching, and remember, the power of Android is yours.